G'day gang, game Molly O'Dan here. How you going? Playing a game called Neverwinter. It's an MMORPG and uh, looks like it's based, I guess, in Dungeons and Dragons, as you can see up there. Um, I've never played Neverwinter Nights. I had heard of it. A uh, game that I unfortunately missed out on. I'm trying to sort of catch up on a bunch of RPGs now. I've started with uh, Divinity, uh, Original Sin 2, and uh, also playing a little bit of Battle Chasers, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to sort of continue on and, and try and play a few others, including Neverwinter Nights and maybe Baldur's Gate and so on. But anyway, we're here to play Neverwinter, uh, the MMORPG, and just from this title screen, it, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> For It's a free-to-play game as well, so yeah. Really, really interesting. I expected something a little bit older for some reason, I don't know. But anyway, let's hop in and have a look at it. Nice intro. Um, all right, let's choose a choose a class. Yes, oh, sorry, a race. So we have uh, Dragonborn, Human, Metallic, Ancestry, Dragon. But what? Metallic's Ancestry. Uh, the eponymous, epon, epon, eponymously 
named descendants of the metallic dragons. Although free to choose their own path, they often embody the values of their ancestors, honor, justice, and a respect for life. Okay, but they love the metals. Is that it? Well, I don't think we can use these ones because they got this big Z thing on there, which I think is play a form of currency. I don't want to click on that because it'll probably take me to... This premium race is available for purchase as part of the Dragonborn Legend or Dragonborn Race reroll button. Okay, so there you go. And we've also got Moon Elf, which is part of the same other packs and stuff. So all these ones you have to pay for. Uh, so the ones we can play, although they look pretty cool. Moon Elf is interesting. So we've got a human, and we've got the half orc. Oh, what about a full orc? Wood Elves, Sun Elves, Dwarves, we've got a halfling. Uh, we've got half elf. Oh, that's interesting. Descended from elves and humans. Half elves are a vital race in which the best of features of elves and humans often appear. Right? And the drow are a descendant, decadent race of our dark elves whose beauty and sophistication fail to mask hearts all too often. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and be boring and choose a human. I like humans. I am one. It's usually why I choose one, uh, but I do, I, sometimes, you know, I go for the Sun Elf. I probably would go for the Sun Elf as well. That could work. Half Orcs are pretty interesting, but I think for this, I'll just go for the, the human and we'll take it from there. Of all the civilized races, humans are the most adaptable and diverse. Human settlements can be found almost every, anywhere and human morals, customs and interests vary greatly. Defense, ability scores, okay, let's go. So we've got the Rogue, Trickster Rogue, Devoted Cleric, a healer, Control Wizard, powerful arcane energies to restrict, crush, and debilitate their foes, wielding a magical orb. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, and use ice and force to manipulate the movements of unwitting creatures. Human, oh, okay. Scourge, Warlock, no subtlety there, you want to deal damage. You're tougher than other warlocks, and you've got powers to help you attack. Nice. Paladin, who take holy vows to protect and preserve the light. Paladins take the oath of devotion, so... Maybe, can they be healers as well? Can they be dedicated healers? Okay, here's your, your warrior, warrior type class. Uh, your guardian fighter, maybe a little more of a protection warrior. And force threat, your tank. Nice, and we got coming soon. I want to be that one. No, I'm going to be a ranger. Ranger's abilities reflect the divide between civilization and wilderness. Although rangers learn to master weapons, most commonly bows, and those used in two weapon fighting, they augment this martial training with their knowledge of primal magic. I love rangers. I'm sorry, I just can't get away from them. And this one looks pretty damn good. Maybe it's the pose. It's speaking to me and saying, come on. Especially if we can actually get some um, swords on this guy too. I see hindering strike there with a sword icon and melee stance, so yeah. Alright, let's try that out. See what it's like in this game. As a hunter ranger, your primary ability primary ability is dexterity. Your secondary abilities are wisdom and strength. Uh, okay, oh, we've got high dex, that's good. 13 strength, physical power. And wisdom is perception, self-discipline and empathy. Common sense as well. Racial ability bonus, choose one. I can go plus two strength. I can go plus two everything. Maybe I'll just go plus two dexterity. Pump it up. What do you reckon? Maybe I'll just go plus. It is the primary score. It'll do a lot of DPS. On the other hand, constitution might help because health, stamina, and vital force. I mean, early on, that might be better for survivability. I'll just go with that. Let's try that. Appearance preset. Oh, I want, I want the dude that you had at the start. Why can't I just have that guy? That looks heaps better. I don't want these guys. <laughs> I want the other one. You had it perfect. All right. Anyway, I guess we'll just go ahead and customize them. Got a lot of presets, I guess. I'll try that one out. So we got uh, small pupil, giant pupil. Oh, what's this? Oh, the head. Let's go to the head. Face long? Why the long face? Face rough. Let's have a look at that rough face. Uh, 
Uh, bulky. Aged. Aged faces. Rough faces. Nah, not really liking any of those faces. What do you reckon? Bulky. Aged. I'll just go with that one here. Actually, hang on a second. The body, the body is very, like huge. Toned, slim. I think slim. For a ranger, you're on the move. You know, you don't want to be too bulky. Like you wouldn't be. You can't. You can't be a ranger if you're that dude. You, well, you're not doing anything. Oh, actually, he's quite huge. But that's that's different. That's a warrior type build, like a two-handed warrior type build. Who uses like a, a log as a weapon? <laughs> uh, hair. Okay, so what about the hair? Maybe if I get the hair right, the face will just be like I won't even think about it anymore, man. I'm not liking that. There's that hairstyle though. Dreads, medium. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of kept here. You know, it's flowing a little bit. That's that's a ranger's hairstyle. Of course, you'd also want the hair out of your eyes. But when you're out there in the bush, in the forests, you haven't got time to cut your hair, right? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, let's get something like that. Let's have a look at this medium here, if that works. Eyes, small pupil, giant pupil. Well, I think it's fine the way it is. Maybe darken it up a bit. Eyebrows. Let's make a match. Tats. Nah, no tats. Nah, he's fine. He never took a hit to the face. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Oh, you know what? We might be here a while. Uh, let's let's go back to the hair. Maybe it's the hair. All right. So yeah, uh, I just fast forwarded. <laughs> just skipped ahead in time because I spent a lot of time trying to fig trying to get something that I could deal with. This is as good as it gets for me. All right. Let's go. We're continuing on. Character origins. Never went to his home to Hardy. And creative people who have rebuilt their city in the wake of the eruption of Mount Hotanau, Hotanau. While still a shadow of its former glory, the city shows why it's called the City of Skilled Hands. Where other people see calamity, you see opportunity and a way to make a quick buck. Militia Defender. You have helped defend Neverwinter against the many threats who seek to destroy it. I like that. That's what I like. So I can choose where to, where I want to come from. Oh, Baldur's Gate. Ah, mate. You know what? I don't know much about Drag Dungeons and Dragons, but I know Baldur's Gate and I know Neverwinter, those two names. I also have heard of Dragon Coast. I've got to get more into this. Um, so I don't know. Do you reckon we should be from Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate was a new home to your family when you when you're tired of being treated as a second class citizen. Uh, you know what? Let's be from Neverwinter. I like this, the secret of, oh, sorry, I like this one, Militia Defender, so we'll go with that. The Deity Affiliation. Known as Good Luck, Timora is the goddess of good fortune. Those who seek good luck or want to express thanks for having received it, pay homage to this Timora. The God of Law. Dutifully upholding the strict strictures of civilization, Torm is... Served by paladins and other holy champions, ever steadfast and true, he is consumed by his sense of duty. Sylvanas, the forest father, is the lord of nature in all its wild splendor. He is worshipped by druids, rangers, hermits, and others who dwell in the wilderness. Sylvanas is wild and unpredictable, given to tender acts of mercy and wild bouts of savagery. I think that's going to be us. Right there. Alright, let's go. Beautiful. Character name. Uh, Camolio Dan. There we go. Begin your adventure. 
Biography. The optional. Oh, you can write your own. Vo oh, okay. Oh, I better not do that because I'll probably put something silly in there. Let's begin. Level one. Shoot the arrow. The graveyard of never death holds centuries of never winter's dead. The clerics of ah. Here we go. So, uh... Alright. Cool. Let's have a look at our dude. Can we roll? You must equip a weapon. Oh, there's a dead dude here and there's a sparkly thing pointing at this guy. Move to Private Wilfred. Press F when close to talk to him. Okay. So this action cam as well, which I've been getting used to in a lot of games. Move to Private Wilfred. Okay, press F. Thank the gods. When I saw the Dracolich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. I am seeking you to Neverwinter in such troubled times. Uh, Neverwinter is my home. Welcome home, I think. Not a very auspicious homecoming, is it? Neverwinter is under attack. The necromancer Belindra is assaulting the city with her undead legions. Search the wreckage along the shore for your gear. It's dangerous to go unarmed right now. When you finish, head up to the camp at the top of the hill. They've got a nice warm fire up there. You'll feel better once you've dried out. Thanks, I will. The first path leads to your next objective. Okay. Waypoints appear on the map to mark your quest's objectives. I'm just going to increase the sound for voice because I can barely hear that guy for some reason. Press F to interact with characters and objects. Notched longbow. Let's equip that. There we go. Oh! Ah, oh, shift does like a sliding thing. Nice. Press I to open your inventory. Double click an item to equip it. Beauty. We'll get our tunic Press on. Press the old key to toggle mouse cursor and mouse look modes. Aha. Okay, yep. Gotcha. The quest tracker displays current quest objective. Signs of life. Oh, double tapping does. It surges forward. Campfires or rest zones where out of combat players may heal. Gotta have a target to fire. So we can heal up here next to the fire. Beautiful, I like that. When you have finished a quest, turn in to a contact for credit and rewards. Good to meet you. It's good to see someone survive the attack on the ship. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I need your help. Although we stop Falindra's main force, the battle is far from over. The battlefield is crawling with mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. To make matters worse, the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Naaman is performing a ritual of Kelimbor to lay the newly dead to rest. That is sure to draw an attack here. I must stay and make sure Naaman finishes her ritual. Could you search the battlefield for any wounded we missed and send them here? After you finish with the wounded, go to Del McCord's camp and tell him our situation. I accept. Alright, before we go on though, I gotta I gotta fix this sound up because it's a bit messed up. I've got hundred percent overall volume. Voice volume is at hundred percent. But I can barely hear the guy. So let's put this up. Um like music is at 60% and it's like almost out overpowering everything he says. But I want to hear the music, that's the thing. But I need to hear the guy talking. Uh, let's let's so we'll turn that down. We'll go to fifty percent. I will put this at forty percent. Then I really don't want to do this though. You let me know on uh, when when you uh, watch this video, how you're finding the sound. Left click to use rapid shot. Okay. That was very loud all of a sudden. 
A <laughs> huge difference from 90%. Rotter. Nice, gotcha. I gotta say, the game looks pretty damn good, and it's very smooth. Like World of Warcraft smooth. Very, very nice. Just smooth scrolling, smooth moving, smooth. Smooth is my face. Um, my character's face, that is. Very smooth, nice. You're wounded, not anymore. Hope you get, mate. Thank you. You are welcome. Now, I don't know. I, I haven't been looting. or maybe, maybe I don't have to press loot or there's no loot on these characters. The body's just sort of fading off. <laughs> Mission is complete. How are we going with our experience? Oh, we're not actually gaining any experience, are we? Hang on, let's try that again. We got 54 zaps. Whatever that means, I'm not sure yet. Maybe they're trying to keep us at a certain level to experience this stuff and not... Then it sort of move us on. Sort of staying here, grinding on XP. Which is exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> Just grind up to level 2. Press spacebar to jump. Mate, already done. Oh, level 2, there we go. Delma Court. We were lucky. The level guy displays everything you get for leveling up. It may also offer important quests. Okay, hang on a second, mate. Two things. Two people said things at the same time. See what's new. Uh, new, new at willpower. Split shot. Character sheet. So I now have. So I've got my rapid shot. Cool. I've got split shot as well. Split shot. Shoot a spray of arrows at your enemies, dealing more damage the longer you focus. Okay, what about the paths? Let's see the paths of this. Paragon Path Selection. When you achieve mastery in the skills of a Hunter Ranger, you are able to choose a Paragon Path. Okay. And what's this one? Why is the difference? Big difference. Okay, Hunter's Teamwork. Careful Attacks, Ambush, Slashes Mark. Bladestorm is one more melee focused. Okay, alright, well, something to look forward to, I guess. Points spent, points available, I've got no points, because we've already spent them. Dismiss that, we know we got a new skill. Go by the fire. Heal up a little bit. Dill? Dill? Uh, we would like to drive Lindra's forces back. Thank you for aiding the wounded. They wouldn't have survived much longer with all the undead roving about. I'll try to get medical supplies and reinforcements to Linklater as soon as possible. All right. Fortunately. Oops. Sorry, mate. I cut you off, didn't I? I'm afraid I have a gruesome task for you. We've driven Valindra's main army off, but Red Wizard allies are still harassing us with summoned undead. Private Hothidorn is trying to drive them off with his archers. But the short on ammo. Search the battlefield and scavenge some arrows from the dead, and then take them to Hothedon. Okay. I would do that. Terrible, terrible attempt at an accent. Nice. All right, let's go collect arrows. We're going the wrong way. 
We need to go this way, and then we gotta go this way. <laughs> and then down. Right click to use split shot. Oh, there we go, the AOE. Let's grab some arrows. Oh, there's a dragon here. Oh, sorry, mate. Marcos, Marcos. I will answer your questions if I can, but do not break my concentration. What happened here? Valindra had a Dracolich under her control when she attacked Neverwinter. It attacked ships in the harbor and then came straight for the city. My friends and I were helping Sergeant Knox defend the walls when it attacked. There was a terrific battle, and we were able to defeat it. What are you doing now? I don't know how Valindra got a Dracolich. Perhaps a deal with the Cult of the Dragon. The important thing is that we deprive her of it. When a Dracolich is killed, its spirit returns to a special phylactery. From there, it can possess the body of another dragon and be reborn. This Dracolich's spirit has not departed yet. I am trying to bind it here. If it cannot return to the phylactery, we may be able to destroy it and deprive Valindra of a powerful ally. Good luck, mate. Cole Sare Sar Saresk has acquired a cavalry tyrannosaur mount from the Merchant Prince lockbox. Okay. Why is that popped up on my screen? <laughs> I don't need to know this. Do I? Grab some arrows. There we are, this'll do. Three more there, done. We can go back now. Oh, we're starting to gain experience now. I think. I think we are. Current experience 106. Let's, let's kill something and see what happens. No. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, we're going this way. Okay. Let's go, go, go. So for the next part, I might actually have to stop very soon, because I think what I'm going to have to do is tweak the sounds. I'm not happy with them. It seems to be a little bit loud in some, a little bit soft in others. But if you like the series so far, if you like this and you'd like to see more, please subscribe and also like and leave me a, leave me a comment. Say goodnight. You found some ammunition. Excellent. Please place the arrows in one of the barrels near the archers. We must drive the wizards back. Okay, can do. Let's go pop that in in a barrel. Which which one? With what? This is a barrel. Oh, the barrel. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Dudes, you know how long it took me to get those arrows? Hey, you just got rid of them instantly.